Hello and welcome. It's Nicholas DiCostella from the Institute of Heart Intelligence and I'd like to wish you a very heartfelt season's greetings. Uh, it's been such a pleasure and an honour to have worked closely with so many beautiful people this year. I feel truly blessed to have had the opportunity to be doing what I do and to have shared so many tender and precious places and be involved in seeing people open up their hearts and come alive and really start to live their life fully. So just to everybody who's associated with the Institute, I'd like to send a big thank you out for your presence and your trust and uh, just just for being you. Um, you know, this time of year, obviously we're coming towards the end of the year and something that I'd like to talk a little bit about is the way that life unfolds in circles. And when we live from our head, we tend to think that everything's just going in a linear way and we just assume that things are just going to keep on going in a single direction. But the truth about life is that everything is going in circles. Everything is going in cycles. Every day, uh, every, every session, this little video, uh, every breath even is going in cycles. And the cycles start with conception. We have an idea of a project or an idea of something that we're going to do. And then we, we formulate, um, how we're going to go about doing it and then we take action and and that's the birth of the cycle and it's actually the second point on this circle and after birth uh you know growth happens and and we develop the ideas that we had and we flesh them out we make them a reality and at the top of the circle is a point of maturity where everything is at its peak um if you're building a house, then all the tradespeople are on the site at the same time, the plasterer, the electrician, and so on and so on. So that we reach this point at the top of the circle of maturity. And then the next phase is moving into the decline stage, the withering, and it ends at the point of death. And death doesn't mean the total end, it just means the completion of this cycle. It's the fourth point on the circle, but it's not the end of the cycle because there's a whole quadrant between the end of the cycle, the death, the completion phase, and the beginning of the next conception. So this fourth quadrant is the one that many of us will find ourselves in at this time of year where we've, we're finishing things off and um, it's actually the stage where we have a lot of trouble uh, dealing with the kinds of feelings that happen in this stage because often in this fourth quadrant after we complete a cycle we can feel confused and a bit lost uh, low motivation tired flat drained and if we don't understand that this is part of a cycle, a natural cycle, then what happens is with our mind thinking in a linear direction, we tend to project into the future based on how we're feeling and we get frightened that if I really let go into this feeling of being down or flat or tired or confused, that I'll be there forever. And in fact, many of us imagine that we're going to fall into some kind of an abyss that we'll never get out of. Um, but that's not actually the way that it happens because this fourth quadrant of um, re renewal and regeneration is a very important state, a very important phase to allow ourselves to experience fully because it starts off with low motivation and confusion and feeling lost. But as we surrender to this phase, it actually becomes a time of regeneration, a time of integration, a time of reflection, and a time that's actually preparing us for the start of the next phase, which which the next point on this circle is conception. And so 
what that's actually saying when you understand that this is a circle and not a straight line down is that we're kind of coming down and we're going to hit the bottom and then we're going to start a new conception that something fresh and exciting is waiting for us ahead of us and what I found is the more that I can allow myself just to relax into this fourth quadrant and renewal and regenerate and relax and let that process happen then the bigger the project just around the corner often turns up so this time of year the first part of this phase is reflection so I'd like to encourage you to take some time out and think about this year. Think about the things that you've achieved, the lessons that you've learned, maybe from the things that didn't go so well and from the things that went well. And also, you know, the blessings, the people that helped you in your life this year, the people that loved you, that cared for you, the good things that just happened to turn up from life maybe. So there's there's lots and lots of things that we can reflect on and we can learn from, from this year and take that wisdom forward in our life. Now I've attached a little um, play sheet below that can help you with some pertinent questions to look at that cover different areas of your life in these three three aspects then you know the next phase then on after reflection is just allowing yourself to regenerate and so i really like to encourage if at all possible that this period you know in january when you're going to be taking a rest and a holiday that you really just relax and let yourself soak up the the energy and the time and uh, you know give yourself a really good break so that you come back and bounce into 2017 feeling refreshed and renewed and energized and really ready to give it a good shake um, we've got a heart visioning day at the end of January and I'll send you a bit more info about that as we go uh, which is all about connecting to your heart and planting some seeds for 2017 is if you lived from your heart what would 2017 look like and I can assure you it would definitely be sensational so uh, maybe you come along to that if you can get to it that'd be awesome but in the meantime just make sure that you take a bit of time out to reflect on this year, get the gifts that there are to offer from that, and then go ahead and have a good rest, recharge your batteries, and I look forward to seeing you again in 2017. So once again, I'd like to thank you for being part of my life and for sharing and trusting and journeying with me. So lots of love and blessings for the Christmas season and wishing you an awesome 2017.